can make it home. A heap of sun and shatter, and you sometimes have to roam. A boy you really appreciate the things you left behind, and hunger from somehow with an olives on your mind. It don't make any difference how rich you get to be, how much your chairs and tables cost, how great you love dream. It ain't home to you, though it be the palace of a king. Until somehow your soul is sort of wrapped down to everything. Homemade a place that gold can buy or get up in a minute. At Fort's home, there's gotta be a heap of living in it. Within the walls, there's gotta be some babies born. And then, right there, you've gotta bring them up to women good and men. And gradually, as time goes on, you find you wouldn't part with anything they've ever used. They're grown into your heart. The old high chairs, the playthings too, the little shoes they wore, you hoard. And if you could, you'd keep the thumb marks on the door. You've got to weep to make it home. You've got to sit and sigh and watch beside a loved one's bed and know that death is now, and in the stillness of the night, to see death same to come, and close the eyes to her that smile, and leave her sweet voice dumb. For these are scenes that grip the heart, and when your tears are dried, you find the home is dearer than it was, and sanctified, and tugging at you always are the pleasant memories of her that was and is no more. You can't escape from these. You've got to sing and dance for years. You've got to romp and play and learn to love the things they have by using them each day. Even the roses round the porch must blossom year by year. Before they come apart of you, they're just in someone dear who used to love them long ago and train them just to run the way they do so they would get early morning sun. You've got to love each brick and stone from cellar up to dome. It takes a heap of living in a house to make it home.